Here's another quick tip to help you build tools and pages to help your employees um, to, um, to achieve more wherever they are, of course. I'm a very big fan of Microsoft Teams and whatever I can bring into Teams for the employees is just a great thing to do. We know that the new home site app will be launched over the next couple of months, which means we'll then have an intranet button right there in the top corner that'll make everything so much easier. But like mentioned in my previous video, I actually have been adding my intranets as tabs onto Teams um, for quite a long time. And I thought of this great idea yesterday that I could share with you. So let's take a look at time zones. Now that's something I have to work with quite a lot, okay? And maybe in your company as well, work across many different time zones. And I think in Outlook, we can only add three. So that doesn't always help me very much. So what I've done is in my intranet, I've gone and built a page called Time Zones. And on this page, I've gone and added the, the world time zone clocks, as well as any other um, that we might use very often. So let me show you how that works. If I put the page into edit mode, and I add web parts and I just use three um, zones there and I've got a vertical column going down as well and I've changed the styling etc but the web parts that I'm talking about is these two so you'll see that the world clock and the world time so the world clock gives me um, the times and then there's the times across the world so world clock and world time and then you can set it up to the different cities or even time zones that you want to display so I definitely want the time zones as well as different cities that I work with all the time sometimes someone just says to me that it's EST time or something and then I can just very quickly look at the clock and make a decision so I then took this SharePoint page and I then went back to my team and I actually where I've added the intranet I've actually just added another tab um, for time zones and um, if I click on the add a tab I use the SharePoint and then I actually point it to a different SharePoint page because of course my intranet is not the site that sits behind this team so I just went add page or list from SharePoint site and that's how I added the time zones and I think that can help people quite a lot while I'm on that topic and don't love a lot off at my power apps but while I'm on the topic I also created a power apps page where I added some um, like frequently used power apps that people use like incident management or innovation logging or even the leave app or device ordering or something and then the employee can write you on one page actually click and say oh I want to log a new innovation and then it opens the form there right on the page they don't have to navigate to power apps and I did that as well by creating a page in my um, SharePoint intranet so there you can see there's my page with the web parts on it and I've pulled the different uh, power apps in that employees can use and I definitely think that this can be quite a time saver and then the last thing I want to share with you and again this is all leading up to us soon having that home site app in here as well but what I also do is that I then take that specific um, channel where I'm adding these tools and resources and I actually pin it to the top so you'll see that you can actually pin a channel and all I've done is I've created a channel called intranet and tools and on that I've added the intranet and the time zones and the power apps etc and then I just um, instruct my employees and say this is how you can actually pin it to the top and it'll always show in the top of your Microsoft Teams and that will definitely save them a lot of time but I do think that the time zones is a pretty cool thing and quite nifty to use for people that have to schedule meetings across time zones and check things quickly and they can have it right there in their Microsoft Teams to quickly check the time zones.